So Ken, how do you uh, how do you feel like that that went for you? I felt very comfortable out there. I um, feel like it was a great game for me just to get in a good rhythm. Um, great. I feel like it's a good day to pile on great days. Um, just overall, I, feel like I felt great out there. You, you feel like you're kind of making progress and kind of learning just, some of the things that Chauncey and the staff are kind of trying to instill in you right now? Yeah, I'm just trying to understand what they want from guys on the court. Um, just knowing that this the rotation is going to change no matter <laughs> what's going on. So just being able to understand what we want and just execute. Uh, you have quite a few athletic finishes tonight. I know that's going to the hallmarks of the game. How do you feel like you've been able to use your athleticism uh, and, and, and doing the program? Um, like you said, just trying to figure out ways to insert my athleticism. I uh, feel like tonight was a, a good night to actually visualize and see what how I can in, uh, implement my athleticism into my game. but. Um, just overall, just trying to be consistent day in and day out. Uh, obviously, you know, you guys haven't played a ton together yet, but uh, how do you feel like your partnership with Anthony in the backcourt uh, has, or at least with tonight, or, or has grown since you got here? I feel like night in and night out, uh, we're constantly growing and learning each other uh, each and every day. So, I mean, this is a learning process for everyone on this on the team, uh, including the staff. But, I mean, I just feel like the more, the more games we play, the more better off we'll be. So, uh, just trying to lock in each game. Take a couple from the Zoom. Aaron Ventress, go ahead. Hey, Keon, you hit three of five threes tonight. You missed your previous five. Uh, what what um, kind of workout routine are you doing with, I mean, how many threes are you taking today? What are you trying to work on to try and protect that shot? I know that's something you want to improve upon. Um, just reps um, and just staying consistent within my shot. A lot of times I feel like I'll rush my shot. Uh, and where I don't have to, and just staying consistent with my shot prep and just getting reps up. Uh, and I feel like I've been doing that, and it, and it showed tonight. You also, had five, you also had five assists tonight. Is that a sign that you're trying to really feel, <clears throat> excuse me, in tune with the offense and where people are going to be so you can make those kind of plays? Yeah, I, I'm think, I, I think I'm starting to understand more of just our flow in our <laughs> offense. Uh, and just being able to be a combo guard like I I feel like I could. Uh, and I feel like tonight was a great night that I showed my potential. How do you feel like you did defensively tonight? Um, I feel like I played all right defensively. There was times where I could have been more aggressive, uh, just trying to help other guys. But I feel like tonight was a solid night. Um, but it, there's always room to improve just because of the, the scoreboard. And it's kind of interesting to be able to play a team twice in a row, so maybe even like um, yes, I do. Um, I mean, this game is constantly changing uh, night in and night out. So just going back to look at the film and see where we can improve on to win two days. So. Okay. Yeah. Last questions coming from Christo Saltis on Zoom. Jim, <coughs> for you personally, how important is that the coaching staff and teammates help you at um, everyone's vocal with each other. Um, whenever we see something, we always try and let each other know for the next play ahead. So I feel like our communication level is uh, very, very good for just having a bunch of new guys together. Um, but I feel like that's what made this process a lot easier, just having a great, communica great communication level amongst everyone.